Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles back again for another review. This time it's the Transformers Masterpiece MP37 Artfire, which as you can see is a repaint of the uh, MP Inferno and Grapple mold. Now, I did order this from Amiami Ami before I realized that the coins were making a comeback from Hasbro Asia. Um, so I did have to order the coin separately. Um, and I was waiting uh, for about a week or so for it to come and it still hasn't come from Hong Kong So I thought I'd just push ahead and do the review anyway um, Since it's just the collector coin and this is the main figure um, So as you can see with the box wise, it's the usual Takara box with a nice artwork and the figure does look bloody amazing There's more photos of the figure on the back there um, It does come with the standard instruction manual, which is nice um, It comes with the collector card um, which I've put in these ultra pro magnetic uh, card holders and uh, I'm not too sure I like that uh, cover art there um, that artwork but um, uh, I'll get over that one day <laughs> and it comes with a swap out um, screaming head sculpt which uh, the instruction book is called crying for some reason but um, doesn't look too bad it's got the nice sort of uh, shiny metallic paint to it which is nice the little gun of his is just unpainted grey plastic, um, so nothing too much to write home about. And uh, if you do follow uh, the history of Transformers, uh, this art fire was a, a repaint. Um, I'm not sure if it's from uh, just only in Japan or, or elsewhere, but um, it was a repaint uh, in their Target Master line. And that was pretty much around the, the time that uh, I started losing interest in Transformers. Um, out of the 80s and so on. I think after season one and two and the movie itself, um, I started losing interest. Um, so I, I really don't know too much about um, Headmasters and Target Masters and so on uh, because I didn't grow up uh, going getting into that. Uh, now this is uh, his Target Master sidekick uh, Nightstick apparently. I think it's called Nightstick. Um, and overall it's not too bad. I think the only other sort of Target Master figures I've seen in this sort of series is the uh, ones that came with a few of the X Transbots figures, um, like Eligos and uh, Andras, um, which was their Swoop and Cyclonus, and they were pretty good. Um, and this one is uh, not too dissimilar to them. So this is him in gun mode, and you do, you do have those the gun grip there that he can put into either hand. I think uh, I won't bother trying that, but essentially the transformation is pretty simple. Uh, you can just fold this back in like so. Um, double hinges there and just fold that all down and it uh, sits fairly nicely on his back there fold that further down um, and then another hinge here for his legs and then you just push that whole torso down like so and spread his legs out from that peg and that is pretty much it for a nightstick so overall not too bad uh, nice shiny black plastic on his legs there and a bit of paint application on the the torso so overall not too bad um, I have seen some pretty nice uh, photos of um, nightstick on uh, riding on uh, art fire in in alt mode uh, that lo do look pretty cool and that's probably how I'll have him displayed uh, but uh, on to the main figure all right so here is art fire and I gotta say Takara really do know how to do their repaints um, when we first saw the uh, teaser photos for this. Um, I guess there was a lot of, kind of discussion on whether or not these uh, decals would be painted or, or tamped on or whether or not they would be stickers. Now, I guess the, the fear for me was that they were all going to be stickers, uh, but thankfully, Takara uh, didn't screw us over and actually put those as uh, tamped on decals. And the detailing is pretty damn awesome i would have hated to have tried to stick things like this on and that on um, and on the legs etc the feet uh, but they're all beautifully tamped on so i'm not sure why uh, other companies like uh, lego and so on pers uh, keep um, persisting with uh, stickers because um, i definitely think decals are the way to go and the way they've done it um, even along the hips here and so on uh, art fire just looks absolutely beautiful and uh, on the back um, as always with this Inferno mold, um, the back is uh, beautifully clean. Um, the way this uh, ladder folds away is uh, some engineering genius there, so um, I don't think uh, any of the third party figures come uh, anywhere near uh, how this guy looks. So I'll just grab a, 
Grapple and Inferno and just to give you guys a quick look at uh, all three of them together. Alright, so there is Inferno on the left, Artfire in the middle and Grapple on the right. So Grapple probably has the, uh, the most difference in the retooling, uh, but uh, Artfire does share a few uh, bits and pieces with uh, Grapple, but most of it is um, just a repaint uh, of Inferno. So I think he does take um, Grapple's, I thought it was Grapple's um, shoulders or legs or something like that. If you do a side by side like so, uh, from the arms. Um, so he does take this uh, circular thing from, from Grapple, whereas Inferno did not have it. Um, but then he does have the circular bullseye thing there that uh, Inferno has and Grapple does not. So they sort of did a bit of a mix and match. Um, but overall, um, either way, whichever figure you get in this mold, um, you're on a winner. Um, now he can, the other thing that uh, I did, uh, I'm not going to bother showing, but um, with the swap out hands here that you can fold away and add the, the little um, hose uh, for, uh, for art fire actually, you can uh, swap out both hands to have both the left hand and the right hand uh, using the hose. So that is a pretty good option, um, but um, pretty much other than that, uh, there is no swap out piece at the front. I think uh, the only swap out piece was the head. Um, but I think uh, that's pretty much it uh, for Artfire. I'll just go through some of the uh, details of the repaint itself. I love the the chroming up the top there. Um, everything is very clean in the, the tamps um, for the decals. And so there's a bit more chroming down here as well. Um, I think the only nitpick that I could have is in these feet. Um, if, if only the, the feet from, from all angles. Uh, whereas uh, a deeper red as the the plastic in the the shins and and forearms and so on. So from from some angles it turns into a like a pinkish color as you can see there. Um, and you'll notice that mine does have a little uh, scratch on it there. But that's probably the only blemish that I can find on the on the figure. So overall I think uh, Takara have done a pretty amazing job with Art Fire and. Uh, this mold in general and with all my repaints I always transform back into uh, alt mode um, so I'll do that now um, and that's the way I'll display it hold on all right so here he is in truck mode and he does look pretty damn awesome uh, everything pretty much pegs together uh, quite well um, I did uh, have a bit of uh, paint rub on the top here as I folded out this panel because this panel was uh, folded flush against this in the bot mode, so I think it might have just scratched a bit there, which is unfortunate. Um, but other than that, um, not too much paint rub or alignment issues. Um, it does take a little bit of futzing around to get panels to line up uh, as perfectly as you can. Um, and as you can see, there's a gap here, for example. Um, but uh, not much more you can do about that, really. Um, and in the overall scheme of things, it does look pretty damn awesome. So it does roll nicely and the paint apps uh, transfer well to this mode as well. So you get all the lights at the back there, the highlighting here and on the front. I'm not sure what those words mean in Japanese, um, but that's pretty much it. Um, and from some of the photos I've seen, they've uh, got um, Nightstick here riding surfer style on top of the uh, crane thing there which uh, does look pretty damn cool, so I might see how I can uh, stably put him on top of that. Uh, but that is pretty much it for MP37 Artfire, so hopefully you like that uh, quick look at the uh, latest uh, MP Transformer. I think uh, the only other one that I haven't done is uh, MP Megatron, which um, hopefully I'll get to in the next week or so and just uh, give you my quick thoughts on that. I probably, I haven't even decided if I want to transform that yet, but um, I'll uh, get to that soon. So um, thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.